Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do your own nails with this KISS um, acrylic kit. I got it from Walmart. I paid about $15, $16 for it. She's looking at me really funny. It'll come with everything you need, acrylic powder, um, the acrylic liquid, um, nail glue, all of that. And we're just going to open it on up. On the bottom you have the nails, the nail filer, and there's a cuticle stick in there. And yeah, so let's get started. To get started, I'm going to take this nail polish remover. Got from Walmart, probably like a dollar ninety something cents. I'm going to clean off my fingernail tips, red, whatever. Make sure all the grease and oil is removed from it. And then I'm gonna take this cuticle stick and I'm gonna push back the cuticle on my nails on all of them so yeah I'm just gonna do that okay so I went ahead and already did one of the hands for you just so I could test it out but I'm going to show you how to get this on your other hand so pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you take all the nails and test them out on your fingers to see which one um, fits on which nails. I put them in order of thumb to pinky to pinky to thumb, whatever. Then I'm going to take this nail glue. And yeah. So on the instructions, the nail glue tells you, to, it says to put about three to four drops of uh, nail glue on there once you do that then you're going to put it on your nail and then you're going to press down on it make sure try to make sure there's no like air bubbles in it to prevent moisture from getting into it and you're going to just do that with all of your nails so yeah after you do all of that it's very long so I want to get the coffin shape. So I have these scissors. I got them from the beauty supply store. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the nails into the shape and to the length that I want them to be. I don't like mine to be too long. So yeah, I'm going to cut them like this because I want the coffin shape like I said before. And I put my hands next to each other to make sure that the nails are around the same length. They're not going to be perfect. And after that, I'm going to file the nail into to help it be a little bit uh, neater. Now I'm just going to do that with all the nails. Again, cut it to the shape and the length that you want. Then make sure it's about the same length as your other hand. And then file it down. Yeah, there they are right now. Okay, so next is the actual acrylic part of it. So it comes with this acrylic primer. You're going to take it and put it on your actual nail. It says to put it on your actual, just your nail, but I put it on the whole entire thing. I don't think it made that much of a difference to be honest, but... This is just to set your nails for the acrylic powder and liquid. So yeah, so you're just going to take that and do that to all of your nails. After you do that, you're going to take your acrylic powder and your acrylic liquid it comes with a little bowl to put the liquid in, so what I did is I opened it up, and of course I had to take off the little peel or whatever, and I poured it into the bowl. For some reason it was slipping down the table, so I just put this 
paper towel under it. Then you're going to take this Apple Fresh acrylic masking liquid and it says to put about three to four drops into there. I don't know what it does. It's just, I just did it because the instructions said it. But then I took the acrylic brush that comes with the set and I just stirred it all in. And then I wiped it on the paper towel. Okay, so pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip the brush into the acrylic liquid and you're gonna dip it into the acrylic powder until you get some like I don't know how to explain it, but you're just gonna take it and then you're gonna put it on your whole finger nail. And what I do is I make sure there's as much excuse me, there's as much of it actually on your actual nail, of course, because this is what's holding it together but um yeah so you put it on the nail and then I would sm like smooth it out to the tips of the um the other nail and after make sure after every time you use it that you're wiping it on the paper towel I kind of made that mistake while I was doing it I wasn't wiping it on a paper towel after each nail and it will ruin the brush if you do that so make sure after you dip it in the liquid and then you dip it in the powder and you wipe and you put it on your finger that you um, wipe it on the paper towel. So you just do that to the rest of your nails and that's what my nails look like after I put it on all of it. After that I'm going to file my nails to make sure any rough spots I get. Um, I do the sides and the top of my nail just to get an even smooth feel to the nails. And then when I finish, I take the buffer that also comes in the set, and I just buff the top of the nail. So that was pretty much the most part for it. Then you just get some nail polish. I just picked up two of the cheapest nail polishes I could find at Walmart. These were about a dollar fifteen, I want to say. Um, the wet, I think they're Wet and Wild. And yeah, just put them on your nails. I did two coats on each hand, as you're probably supposed to, and then you let them dry in between each use, and then you put on the top coat. And when I finish, I just let them sit and dry for a little bit, and these are pretty much what my nails look like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.